Hey, what's going on everyone? Episode 31. Welcome to a new series on the Cobra Class 26 sewing machine from Leather Machine Company. Today's episode is all about how to set up and build and get your machine up and running after it's been delivered. So once you've taken it off of the pallet and taken it out of the box and all the packaging, this is the beginning of how to set up your machine and get it in proper functioning working order. The first step is to attach the four wheel casters to the base and then position the stand upright. These are the four holes you will mount the machine head to. The class 26 weighs about 80 pounds, so please be careful when lifting as it can be oily and hard to grip. After securing the machine to the table, loosen the front latch and gently lower the machine head for access to the lower half. Lower the chain in the corner hole and attach the end of the chain to the machine S hook. Connect the chain to the presser foot pedal and then attach the chain slack to the rest of the chain. You want to make sure that the chain is hooked at a proper height and not forcing the foot pedal to have uneven tension, causing a potential lifted presser foot. All right, to add the belt to the machine, it does not slip over the speed reducer easily. So to fit the belt properly, we will need to loosen the speed reducer, make some height adjustments by using a rubber mallet and tapping the speed reducer upwards. Now the belt can fit properly into place. To lower the speed reducer and have proper belt tension, use a bar as a wedge to lower the speed reducer and then you can tighten the 14 millimeter bolt. Next, add the thread post to the top of the machine. This is optional. A good tip for cable management is to coil the cable and zip tie it to the other mounted cables. For the light, insert the cable into the plug and lay flat. Slide the cap on and then plug into the back of the power switch box.
For the bobbin winder, you wanna make sure that when the winder is engaged, that the wheel is putting light pressure on the rubber belt. When the lever is down, the wheel is not engaged to the belt. All right, that's it for today, you guys. Thank you so much for watching and stick around for more episodes each week on the Cobra Class 26. Take care.